But the next thing here is a, uh, a letter from, uh, I get a lot of these letters. Uh, what they're doing in America today is they're, they're calling everybody who believes the King James Bible is the Word of God, they're calling them a Ruckmanite. And uh, that's just stupid. I mean, uh, some of them are Cargillites, and some of them are Dunlapites, and some of them are uh, Noahites. And uh, how many of you believe the King James Bible is the Word of God before you ever heard of me? Raise your hand. Now, who messed you up? <laughs> See? Don't blame it on me. I didn't mess you up. Somebody else messed you up. I mean, it's the Holy Spirit that shows people that Bible is the Word of God. It, it ain't Ruckman. Don't blame it on me. My name is Jeremy Wilson. I'm right to let you know what a blessing you and your ministry have been to me. I was saved at the age of eight years old. I'm now 20. I never grew in the knowledge of the Scriptures until about two years ago. I'd always been in a Southern Baptist church as I can remember. The start of my study in the Bible is when I met Pastor Dave Hoffman of Rensselaer, Indiana. I don't even know him. I had a chalk talk growing lesson. This was the beginning for me to start studying the Bible. I was immediately convicted to pick up the Bible King James and drop my NIV and New KJV. I kept contact with Hoffman, and he's a Hoffmanite. <laughs> he's a Ruckmanite, he's a Hoffmanite. <laughs> I kept contact with Hoffman after the session that began to write him, and he would send me Bible tapes from his services. Uh, after about a few months, I met Pastor Hoffman again in Knoxville, and he brought me some of, more of his tapes and some booklets of yours. This is when I became a Ruckmanite, as the apostates call it. After I read all these reads, I received a catalog from the bookstore, and I bought $500 worth of books in the store. <laughs> and began into the Word of God. Between the tapes and the small booklets given me by Hoffman, I began the tapes and books by Dr. Wilmington of Liberty University. That's the fellow they call Mr. Bible. Harold Wilmington. That's Jerry Powell School. Mr. Bible and realized how dry he was and dropped him like a lead balloon. <laughs> Mr. Bible kind of pooped out up at Liberty. And at that time, my father finally decided to get out of the apostate Southern Baptist Church and join a Bible teaching church about 35 miles away from here. I'm now studying six to eight hours a day, five days a week, and the Lord's really teaching me a lot. About four months ago, I did a chalk drawing and sermon in a nearby Southern Baptist church was kicked out of the church by the pastor. <laughs> because he said I was a King James only boy and a fascist. These are the names he called me and was told I would never be able to pastor a church with an attitude like I had. So the good God, the apostate preacher, sent the young prophet straight and got him on the track again. Then the old boy called back to the house and tried to get my father to agree with him. What a mistake. And my dad laid it on him. <laughs> we have not heard back from him again. My next experience with an old pastor friend of the family that also tried to straighten the young prophet out, but he failed. He even was trained in textual criticism. But the Holy Spirit had been teaching me Bible, even though I am only a King James fascist. <laughs> I count it a blessing to be able to hold the Word and allow the Holy Spirit to do his own defense work better than any old flesh could do it. I have enjoyed studying the Word of God so much, and I'm grateful for the Lord showing me your ministry to learn from. Uh, and thanks, your brother and Lord Jesus Christ, Jeremy Wilson. That's just, that's just one, and I can't take up all your time. All the mail comes to my house. I can't really take it up time out myself, but I have to. But the testimony after testimony after testimony in this country, and what's happening is uh, Christians who are getting in the Bible, God begin to show them all kinds of things now, and uh, the Lord raised them an army of believers in this country. He raised up an army from a grassroots level, and I am not responsible for them. I'm just glad I had a part in it. I had a part in it. I'm glad, Lord, let me give a part in it. But that's the work of the Holy Spirit. It didn't, it didn't Ruckman. It didn't Ruckman. Nobody but a, but a blank idiot could confuse me with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> There's nothing about me to remind you of the Holy Spirit at all. <laughs> I'm in the wisdom of the above is first pure, then gentle, <laughs> full of good fruits, without partiality, you know, the still small voice. I'm anything but a still small voice. <laughs> and don't blame it on me. Uh, get the judgment seat of Christ, going to be hell to pay for some of these Christians. Yes, They've attributed the works of the Holy Spirit to Peter Ruckman. That's blasphemy. Amen, amen. 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 All right, 2 Kings chapter 4. Now, ladies, 